welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that I felt like I really had to get up for you guys. I got the little Huda Obsessions palettes. These are from the Precious Stone collection, I believe. And I just did a Facebook Live with these. But I thought, hey, let me just get on here and film some swatches for you guys. I'm actually wearing Amethyst on my eyes today and I thought the eye look turned out really well. I also wore Sapphire early today. So these are so far really fun for me. I'm going to stop blabbering and start swatching because otherwise this video is going to be like 100 million years long. And I don't know if people were so curious about these palettes because they were kind of worried to just go ahead and buy them. I know the first four palettes that launched, I actually bought all of them and I didn't like them. So I actually ended up returning those palettes. I returned all four of them because I think they came out last year around the Sephora VIB sale and they were just not very good quality compared to what I was used to with their other palettes. So I was like, nope, no thank you. And I returned them, but these ones so far seem a little bit nicer. This is the shade I'm wearing on my lid. It's like a beautiful dual chrome purpley blue shade. It does look similar to one of the shades in her Desert Dusk palette. But these minis are such a nice size, so I was really bummed when the first ones didn't work out. Um, but the shimmers in these new ones that I have are swatching well. The mattes don't swatch as nice, so it's kind of annoying. But here is the Amethyst palette swatched. So I will just keep my mouth shut so you guys can get a good look at these. There are some duochrome shades in each palette as well. This is so cute, you guys. And these are currently available on Sephora's website, so I can link them down below if you guys want to shop through um, a link. Otherwise, just look up Huda palettes, and I just want to compare it to the Desert Dust. Definitely feels like a miniature, a mini version of the, oh my gosh, of the Desert Dust palette. So I can definitely see some inspiration from this one in here. Okay, now I'm going to move on to swatching the Ruby Obsession palette. I'm just going to swatch that on this arm. And I, this one I have not worn yet on my eyes. I was really curious to see if these shades were comparable to Jeffree Star's palette because it kind of reminds me of his Blood Sugar palette. There's the first row. These freaking shades are so beautiful. The mattes are gorgeous. And then um, there's four shimmers in this palette, and then there's five mattes, so this last row, actually no, I lied, this shade's kind of like a satin. Um, so there's four shimmers, four mattes, and then like the satin red shade. And here is, it is next to the palette to the swatches, sorry. See what says on the back here, so these are 12 month shelf life, the ingredients are listed. Mm, the ingredients are on the back. Made in China. And that's what I remember wondering too. Because this palette is not made in China. Where is this made? I think it says on the actual packaging where this palette is made. Oh, made in Italy. And you could tell the difference. I thought that was kind of weird that she, her bigger palettes are made in Italy. And her the smaller Obsession palettes are made in China. It has to, something to do with the cost, I bet. So... Okay, here's Ruby and Amethyst. I wonder if I should just do the other ones on this side. I can probably do it. Okay, so we got Sapphire. This is the one I was most interested in when they first teased these palettes. I wore this blue shade earlier today. So here they are, the first three shades. Hopefully you guys can see them. There they are, so beautiful. Oh, we gotta swatch the blue one first. I don't know, this last shade is like a silver, let me try and... So there's the next three. And then I'm going to swatch the last three shades. There's a yellow in here. I think it's a fun color, but I don't know if the pigmentation is very good. So there are the shades from the Sapphire palette. And I have worn this one on my eyes, but I only wore this shade and this matte blue in the crease. So I need to test it out some more. And I'm gonna swatch the green one on this arm. 
It's nice that these are small. I really like this fur shade in here, but it's kind of like this weird flaky, flecky green. I think it might be really nice if you wear it um, with a glitter glue. So those are the first three green shades from the Emerald palette. Then we have three more. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. So let's swatch. There we go. And then the last three are some smokier greens. And then we have this beautiful shade. It's like a golden green. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> try not to get this on my shirt. Okay, so that is the swatches from the Emerald palette. And they're super gorgeous as well. Really, really like these guys so far. I didn't get one of them. I didn't get the Topaz one because I thought it was really close to a lot of the things I already have in my collection. So I decided to hold back and just get the ones that interest me. So let me know your thoughts on the swatches and which one you would get if you could only get one because somebody asked me that in my live stream. I'm like, that's not fair. That's why I bought all of them because I couldn't decide so yeah these are really fun let me know if you want to see a review um, I'm gonna be enjoying these and definitely I'll, I'll review them anyway but let me know if you want to see a review and really quick I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers we hit 2k this week I'm so pumped you guys I feel like for the longest time a thousand seemed like an impossible goal and then 2000 seem like an impossible goal and once you finally like kind of achieve your goals it does feel really good I know there is so much competition and it's so cutthroat in the beauty industry because so many people are making so much money on YouTube and with their endorsements and that and this and that's not what my channel is about it's generally just because I love makeup and I want to share my love for makeup with you know all of you so I really really appreciate your support and I've worked so hard to grow my channel organically and be true to myself and not do anything to compromise my integrity. I know it's not easy all the time and sometimes it's a real grind and a hustle. So yeah, I'm just so appreciative that I get to sit in the front of the camera and I get to talk to people and people are interested in my thoughts. So thanks again. I'm sorry for making that long, mushy outro, but I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.